hello everyone so in this video we are going to discuss about basics of biomedical instrumentation there are many topics where we are going to discuss about in the biomedical instrumentation the major important part which is used in biomedical instrumentation is about bio amplifiers so in this video we are going to discuss about bio amplifiers and what is the uh, how the recording system takes place in the current scenario why we are going for the bio amplifiers and what are the basic requirements of a bio amplifier its advantages and applications where the bio amplifiers have been used and what are the different types of bio amplifiers so let's now go into the video the first is going to be the recording system so the recording system so the biomedical instrumentation usually the measurements is taken up from the patient so the patient is called as to be the input and the output of the system is going to be the biological signals which is going to be the ecg or eeg or emg any bioelectric signals which could be picked up from the body so the patient from the patient we are placing the electrodes micro electrodes or surface electrodes or needle electrodes any electrodes have been placed upon the patient depending upon the measurement of the biological signals so the electrodes which has been placed upon the patient is used to pick up the bioelectrical signals from the patient and we have the bioelectrical the electrodes which has been pick up the biological signal is then passed through the transducer transducer is used to convert any physiological signal into an electrical signal so the electrical signal which has been obtained is now given to a writing system or the output unit through the signal conditioner so this signal conditioner takes the input of an electrode and it is modified into suitable form where it could be understand by the output unit which is nothing but the display unit either it could be a pen recorder or it could be a graphical chart or it could be an uh, cro where the current output could be seen that is the biological signals output could be seen so this is how the recording system takes place so where this amplifier comes into the picture so this bio amplifiers is usually is act as an intermediate between the electrodes as well as the display unit or the output unit so here the signal conditioner will be acting as a bio amplifiers so this amplifier will be picking up the signals from the electrode and it would be converted to that of the and it is then passed through that of the display unit where the display unit could be a pen recorder or the cro which could be used for the telemetry purposes what is the need for bio amplifiers even though we have studied about many amplifiers what is the need for this bio amplifiers so this bio amplifiers the biological signals which has been picked up from the body have a very 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 low amplitude and the frequency so in order to boost up the amplitude and the frequency level of the biological signals the bio amplifiers have been placed in place of the signal conditioner where it is used to act as an intermediate between the bio electrodes as well as the output unit it could also be called as to be the bio amplifiers or biomedical amplifiers or biological amplifiers so as i have told you this amplifier is used to increase or boost up the weak signals which has been picked up from the patient's body so the amplifier is going to be act as an intermediate between the electrodes and that is the patient and the output unit or the display unit so there are certain requirements which are required for designing and bio amplifiers let's now see in each and everything how what are the bio amplifiers has been designed and what are the basic requirements of a biological amplifiers so the first basic requirement of a biological amplifier is it should have a very high input impedance 
because if it is going to have a high input impedance it is used to reduce the distortion of the signals so whenever the biological signals has been picked up from the patient's body so there may be certain distortions or the noise which has been added up to it due to the environment so if the system is going to maintain a high input impedance between the value of 2 mega ohms and 10 mega ohms it could avoid the noise and distortion in the signal and the very important point in designing a bioamplifier is it should have a isolation and protection circuit because our input is going to be the patient so the whatever the amplifier has been designed it should be in a proper order such that it does not affect it does not give any electrical shocks to the patient because our input is going to be a patient so whatever the changes the amplifier has to be designed in a proper way if there is any improper functioning of an amplifier which would be revert back it affects the patient's body and the output gain voltage gain should be very very high which is greater than that of the 100 decibels and a constant gain has to be maintained throughout the amplifier it should have a small output impedance by whereas it should have a high input impedance a good biological amplifier should always be free from a drift and noise so what is this drift drift is nothing but the thermal changes so uh, if an amplifier has been designed uh, the amplifier should withstand all the thermal effects which has been taken place inside the uh inside the measurement setup as well as if there is any uh, natural disturbances which are taking place outside the room such as thunderstorms or lightning the amplifier should withstand all the thermal effects which is taking place inside the room as well as the natural occurrences so that is called as to be the drift so a uh, amplifier it has to be designed in such a way that it should be always free from drift as well as the noise and common mode rejection ratio should be greater than that of the 80 db in order to avoid the noise and interference so the major requirement is there should be an isolation in order to prevent the shock it should have a high input impedance low output impedance it should be free from drift and noise and constant gain should be maintained throughout the amplifier so let's now move on with the advantages of bio amplifiers so this bio amplifiers is used to in all the biological measurements which is used to measure the ecg eeg waveforms and it is very easy and stable to use and it could be highly scalable and highly reliable so what are the applications of biological amplifiers so as i have told you it is used in um, all the medical instrumentation purposes because the biological signals which we have picked up from the patients are of very weak in amplitude so to boost up the signal the biological amplifiers are required in all the instrumentation setups uh, whereas it could also be used in cardio tachometers vector tachometer and moreover it could be used in the bio telemetry so apart from this so what are the different types of biological amplifiers basically the biological amplifiers can be classified into five types they are of differential bio amplifier operational amplifier instrumentation amplifier chopper amplifier and isolation amplifier so we will discuss all these amplifiers in detail in the next video thank you